So we are given the probability of A, probability of B, and then we're also given probability of A or B. Are the events A and B mutually exclusive? Justify your answer with calculations. Right, so what is mutually exclusive? Okay, let me explain. Mutually exclusive looks like this. That is what mutually exclusive is. It is two events, A and B, that cannot happen at the same time. For example, you cannot have someone who does maths and maths literacy. Okay? People who do maths and then people who do maths literacy, but you can't have people who do maths and also do maths literacy at the same time. Okay, that is what mutually exclusive is. Mathematically, what does it mean? It means that P of A and B equals zero. This is what mutually exclusive means. So on most formula sheets, you are going to be given a formula like this. This is like the basic formula of probability. On some formula sheets, they might have it as A or B like that. Then they'll have P of A plus P of B minus P of A. And then sometimes they show it like that. Okay, so that's the and and that's the or. So what we'll do is we'll just go use this formula. So we've been given the 0 0.8 as that part. Then the P of A is 0 0.6. P of B is 0 0.3, and then P of A and B is what we are going to go calculate. Now, if you had to go calculate this, what you would find is that it will be equal to 0 0.1. So are these events mutually exclusive? No. Events are not mutually exclusive. Why? because P of A and B was not equal to zero.